Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to turn this English elm. Um, it has a lot of uh, warm holes as you can see, but that's that's okay because what I plan to do is fill these, the one that remains after I've shaped it, into uh, take them out. You know this. Wood, uh, wood bomb waste <laughs> you know it, it easily comes off you see it's like a fine fine powder so yeah so hopefully there's not much of it left after I'm done <laughs> but yeah on the last video I showed you guys that I engraved and filled it in with uh, aluminium powder uh, with the epoxy so I'm going to do that but maybe this time I'll put a, a bit more uh, powder in so it's thicker and uh, yeah and what I was gonna say and it's not gonna take uh, as much time I guess because that that one uh, the, with uh, if you're engraving with Dremel, it's gonna vibrate a lot, you know. And doing it for two hours, uh, it's not good for you really. So this actually will be much better, I guess. So yeah, I'm gonna shape it now, and uh, we'll then see how much I'm left with, and if I'm going to do that or not, because this. Because if it's too much, it's going to take ages for me <laughs> to get them all out, you know, so, but yeah, wear, wear a respirator, you know, if you're doing something like this, but also, you know, if you have a wood like this, you know, with a lot of warmth, don't throw it away, you know, do something like this, you know, try something different, it's a shame to burn, um, this type of wood really you know because the contrast between uh, brown and light grayish is, is really nice I just hate to waste this wood so yeah that's why I'm gonna try this and uh, it, it's basically a test really again for me so I can get the feel how much powder I need to mix in to get a better finish out of the uh, cast now so yeah then when I'm when I'm ready for uh, when I know how much I need then I can uh, uh, like spend two hours quite uh, engraving something you know I guess uh, I shouldn't have done that on the first one I should have just done something like this get the feel how much I need powder how much powder then engrave that would be I think wiser but it still turned alright. Some of you, uh, uh, not some of you, all of you actually said that it turned out alright. So yeah, I guess it wasn't a waste of time. Either. So yeah.
so I think that's all that's a good shape I like it like that so I'm going to sand this now off camera and I will I will uh, get these off after it and I get these uh, warm holes out it's a lot more than I expected to be remained but that's okay yeah I hope it's just I hope inside is not like that but I got a feeling it will be <laughs> so yeah I guess it's good that I'm not gonna use aluminium you know because I don't like to have aluminium inside that's not good but at least brass you know maybe oh well it if you guys say like uh, if I do the inside as well if I happen to do the inside as well and you guys say it's not it's not good for you because I'm not sure it's not good for the ball then it, then it could just be decorative piece I guess I mean imagine this being filled with brass uh, I think it would look nice as a decorative piece you know so yeah all right guys I've <laughs> I've been <laughs> getting these um, warm holes uh, all the dust out you know all the chewed up <laughs> uh, it's very 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 fine so I've been in there like getting them out like that so it took quite a while you know took about I'd say about an hour or so, an hour and a half, something like that. Very tedious, but I think in the end, when when it's covered, it's gonna look nice. So let's get on with the uh, mixing. This time I want to mix it a bit thicker. Last time I lost the footage, footage, and I didn't. I get to show you guys what I did last time I used this aluminium powder but this time I want to use this brass so you guys saw the aluminium but this time I'm gonna use this brass powder I've put it in there so it's easier it's one of these <laughs> um, uh, hair dye you know bottles so it's good good to do that you know. And I'm gonna use two part epoxy. So I've already cut the top off. I mean I can make more if I need so and if it needs a bit more powder I can add it I guess but it's got five minutes walk time so I gotta be quick and I'm using this plastic uh, plastic uh, spoon or to to mix it because it's not gonna I can get it get the dried dried uh, epoxy later on off it and uh, saves you 
saves you a bit of money, you know, using one of these a wooden one to stair. Uh, and you don't waste wood. One thing I don't like about this is you never know if you if you mixed enough. <laughs> you never know if you mixed enough. You know, so it's just a matter of guessing your luck, or maybe at some point it gets too thick that you, you don't you don't pour anymore. You don't add anymore. But I don't know. I'm just gonna mix a lot. That's it, I think that's, that's good enough. Oh, sorry guys. So I'm just gonna... Oh, I already got someone. I'm not really good with epoxy, you know, stuff like this. <laughs> I'm more like turning kind of a person. I like to just naturally turn, but I also like to try out different things, you know, get, get things more interesting for you guys. So that's why I try these things, you know. So you guys could get more ideas and maybe inspire you to do something similar, you know, if you like. That's why, so I don't want to just do every time, uh, just do a normal turning, you know. I mean, it's good, but uh, it's, I think it's better to try out new things. Maybe you will like it and come up with something something better, something interesting to, to do because it becomes boring after after a while, after you try out all the different woods and everything it does become a bit boring it's, it's up to you to make it interesting like I'm doing, it, this is making it interesting uh, trying out new things I've noticed I've, I've mixed a lot more than last time and because I've uh, poured in more um, uh, powder this time it's not as uh, runny as the other one so it's a good sign I guess Some of these holes are actually very deep, you know. Not sure if I would have to uh, do this for the inside as well. I really don't don't want to. But I got a feeling that 
from I might have to do that so guys I'll be back in a in a bit and I'll get these all filled in I've got to mix more so yeah I'll be back in a sec Alright guys, it's been a, it's been over a week now since since you guys saw uh, the last part. Um, it took it took a bit longer, I think, because of the uh, powder inside the epoxy. It it takes a bit longer to dry, completely dry, because I I could feel some sticky parts. Some parts were st sticky, but now it's completely dry, so I feel much, much uh, safer. Uh, because if it's sticky, it could come out of that, that uh, uh, those little uh, warm holes. So yeah. But you guys saw me making this tool. If you haven't seen it, uh, go and check it out. But I'm gonna use this now. I've made a, a round nose scraper. Well, it's a, a very sharp. So, yeah. Someone asked me if I could uh, uh, on one of my videos, the one the one with the aluminium, asked me if I could uh, if they could use a high speed steel. So that's why this time I'm not gonna use a carbide. I use uh, this one, but really, a high-speed steel is meant to even cut the uh, steel, so brass. <laughs> it's no no problem. Uh, I forgot to put my uh, my respirator on. Uh, if you're doing the same type of uh, project, please do wear your respirator. I forgot because I'm <laughs> recording. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna wear mine before I go any further.
Okay, guys, as you can see, it did work. It did come out as I expected. Some parts I'm not happy with. You know, the, the uh, when I made it, uh, when I was uh, mixing the paste, it was way too, way too thick. You know, it wouldn't go where I wanted. You know, I'm sure you you saw how you how it was. But yeah, there's a tiny bit here. I mean, I guess it's all right to have like a one or two like here, so that. Um, someone who sees it in future um, knows that uh, that's how it we, that's how it was you know <laughs> I still can't believe I went over and emptied all of these Whew. okay I'm gonna sand this now and I'll be back I'm gonna be back after I'm done, I'll go up to 600 grit. It's it's already shiny a bit. <laughs> All right, guys, I've sanded this to uh, 600. Uh, I had to go by hand as well uh, because of some lines and everything. But I've applied two coat of uh sanding sealer as you can see it, it brought the colors out it's really beautiful wood now i'm going to apply a uh, micro crystalline wax Okay, I'm going to let this dry and apply two more coats uh, off camera. Then I'll come back and I'll finish the inside. I just hope there's not much um, there's not much of warm holes in there. That's only my worry. Might have to do the inside as well, but. I really don't like to do this on the inside, but we'll see. Okay, guys, I've I've finished applying three coats. It's I like the effect uh, this uh, brass powder gave. I think it fits in. Uh, with the type of wood because it's got a um, natural uh, shading going on you see here so I, I think it, it complements the wood as well so so if you have a similar wood with a lot of uh, with a lot of worms Hole. don't just uh, throw away uh, at least uh, like a at least uh, try and uh, preserve the wood because these these trees takes ages to grow and I I personally respect the wood and I never burn any any wood that's that can be salvageable you know with a bit of bo uh, with a bit of uh, work and patience, you could actually get something unique out of a piece that nine out of ten ten would uh, burn it. So yeah.
Hey guys, it's all, it's all done. I've uh, applied the finish for the inside as well. It turned out uh, better than I expected. Um, it sh uh, it proves that uh, you should always uh, test test it if it's uh, if you can do do something uh, with your uh, wood before you you burn it. You know. Most people wouldn't uh, bother uh, with this uh, type of wood, you know, that have been... Um, you get what I mean, you know. I like the effect, but uh, I decided I'm not going to do that for the inside because of the brass powder, you know, I'm not going to take, take any, any chances, you know. It feels solid, you know, so I just uh, apply three coat of Mogo crystalline wax. That should that should give give it uh, enough uh, enough protection. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. I hope I've inspired some of you guys to try the same thing. And if you have, as always. You can uh, leave a link to your picture, picture of your poll that you made. So I always appreciate it. And I will pin it to the top of the page if you do send me a picture of your turning. Um, yeah, that's, that's all for today. Thank you all for watching. Please uh, subscribe and like the video. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye.